this is it. This is the uh, the moment of truth right here. I think I'm all set up. I think I did everything I need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and prime her up and uh, get her started. And then I got my little workbench here so I can uh, adjust the idle real quick before I take off. So let's do it. Come down here, get to the primer. So one, two, seven, eight. All right, it looks like a solid line of fuel now. And put the choke, this is the choke here, put that into the up position. And let's give her a shot. Like I said moment of truth, so I think I'm all set. So what it said was to take the, take the pulley and pull all the way till it extends and hold it for two seconds and then let it return. So I'm gonna try it just like they say. Okay, maybe I didn't hold it for two seconds. It's a little shorter than I thought, but it said quick pull too. Okay. It's almost there. Should be about four or five pulls the first time, I would assume. So. All right, I'm gonna try two more times and I'll look at the troubleshoot, see if there's anything that I should try to, uh, take care of that might help me out here. All right, I think I'll try two more times because that one sounded like it was starting to get compression. Um, after that, then I'll check it out. There we go. See that? What was that, like seven, eight pulls first time? It feels good though. This pulley feels fine. I think just follow their instructions, hold it, and let it go smoothly back in. So, let me just throw it up here. Now I just need to let it run for, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three more minutes. It's warm out, it's hot right now. But just so that she's nice and warmed up and then I can adjust the idle and pull the throttle, see what she does. Sounds good though. My first initial thoughts, it doesn't sound loud at all. Definitely sounds like my Ryobi Weed Whacker, which is a Ford Stroke too. All right, it's gonna be kind of loud because the engine has to run, but you're gonna watch me change the idle speed now and you should hear it too. So I only did one turn because the instructions also said it needed to fill up an oil and it was full. And the instructions also say one to three turns for a nice idle speed is about what they suggest, not more than that. So I'm just gonna do one. We'll see how it goes. It already seemed like it wanted to kind of pull off. So I think it's gonna be pretty nice. That said, time for that maiden, uh, maiden ride. All right, this is SK Lifestyle. On the scooter, try it for the first time. See how she runs. Baby, I like that. It's 
thing, this thing moves. I can adjust the idle a little bit, but it pulls off okay. My guess, it's probably around just over 25 miles an hour right now. So this brings us to the real hill test. So you saw it go up my driveway. That I'm impressed with because it's short, steep, and there's a little bump right at the front. So now I'm gonna do some actual hills in streets, see how well it gets up. But I think she's gonna be okay. Alright, so I went over the hill. I was at a little speed though, so now I'm on a hill. I have to go back up. So I'm about to start at a dead stop to see what kind of momentum we get, how will we do to get over. say that wraps up our hill section didn't do too bad so i'm gonna head back home and let's wrap up this uh three-part scooter review Not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna run the speed test right now. I got a little GPS app, and I'll show it in better light once we're done. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna see how fast she can go. Just on the flats, 
obviously you saw on the hills it's definitely like half the speed a third the speed so and then I'm gonna go weigh myself as well Alright, so let's recap here. What do we got? Hopefully this shows up on the screen. Um, I'm walking one and a half miles an hour right now. So, the top speed, 19.5 miles an hour. So, I am I honestly thought it was probably more around like 25, 27 miles an hour. Um, I was bogging down a little bit through the throttle. I mean, it's not like a real crazy throttle uh, or power band, but... You know what I mean? It was bogging down a little bit, so I'm gonna go play with the idle a little, but I don't think it's still too bad because it does strongly get up the hills. Even if it's only 10 miles an hour, there's no, like the hills yesterday, the hill right now in my, my house, which is smaller obviously, but still a really quick steep uh, incline. It does all right, it gets up, and that's what matters. You don't wanna be having to push this thing. All right, we're gonna try it with that setting. I'm not gonna turn it too much more because that's about uh, two turns right there. All right, so while the lawn care people across the street do their business, I'll come inside. So you can see now the top speed is 20.5. So that extra turn that I put in there, I did notice a little bit more grunt, maybe a little bit like 10, 15%, but it's definitely a little quicker off the line. So that felt good, you know what I mean? Just a little bit more grip. And you can see I got one extra mile per hour out of it. So it's doing about 21 miles per hour almost you know what i mean i'm sure if i tweak it a little bit more um so there you go that's real testing that's not what it says on the website what somebody says and so now let me go weigh myself but i believe i'm about a hundred and i don't know what like 60 just under 170 so i'm a full adult 511 160 pounds 20 miles an hour 21 give or take Time to weigh in. So, what we're looking at here basically is this scooter weighs about 65 pounds, fully loaded, gassed up, everything. And um, yeah, it can go 21 miles an hour with uh, your boy SK here on the back of her. So that's some real world testing. Let me know what you think about these tests. Were you expecting more? Um, what are you getting out of yours? Are you doing anything different with yours? Leave all those comments down below. I will always get back to you and definitely look forward to seeing what you guys got to say. SK Lifestyle.
But before I let you go on to the review, there's another portion to the ride. Yeah, that's right, we're not done yet. No, we're actually gonna try to see if we can tune her up a little bit, pull a few more MPHs out of her. So let's see how we do. Hit that button right up there, that box, you can check out that video. But first, hit the button down below, the subscribe button and the notification bell. I appreciate it, I'm SK, this is SK Lifestyle. See you on the next video.